we had some music, we'd get at least a few more reps out of this, but you know, a little bit quiet today. Be an ice storm and no internet. <laughs> this is known as Steve Kuklo foreplay. Hey everyone, we got chess day. It's 25 degrees outside. We had an ice storm last night. We lost power. There's only a few places in the area open and Metroflex is one of them. So we're about to hit some chess, so let's do it. What's up, muscular development? This is Steve Kukla with Dan Newmeyer. We're here at Metroflex Gym. Some off-season training, heavy, um, hardcore, because it's, you know, everything shut down the city with the ice storm we had yesterday. And um, it's, we had a good little workout today. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. Um, training with Dan. Uh, Dan and I, we just kind of started training together a little bit. Um, he's a top national level competitor. I don't know if you guys have seen any of his stuff, but this guy is brilliant um, and an incredibly intelligent person who, um, you know, if you ever read any of his stuff or, you know, this guy's available online to, to pop questions in. And he'll, he'll, he'll talk your ear off literally until uh, you're blue in the face and know about training or whatever. But um, absolutely incredible knowledge and, and to get a, a different view on training and, and to train with people that are as strong as Dan for me is is really good to kind of to switch it up because you know it's not like getting a push from somebody that's hungry that's that's strong and like Dan that uh, for me helps take me to the next level. Sir <laughs> Steven. because not only is he really strong, but he actually physically has to put brakes on himself so that he doesn't go overboard. You know, so we went over to uh, just did some uh, barbell incline. Um, again, he, I, I pushed him. He wasn't gonna do four and a quarter, but um, we got him to do it. Uh, again, he's just in a, the beginning phases of his off season, so he's not even trying yet. And I call it, I keep on calling it effortless because that's what it is. You got this. Come on, come on, up. And he's not even, he's playing with weight. If you see him squat five plates, you see him, you see him military press 315. He was military 315 after the Europa, behind the neck, was it behind the neck or front of the neck? Front of the head. 315, day after the show. Most people struggle with 315 on the off season. You know, and he, he has to really try hard to minimize how strong he can be. But it's amazing that people can produce so much force a day after a show. Day, not not four. Day after. <laughs> From that point, uh, we went into a, a flat hammer strength, kind of a little bit of a slight angle to it. Um, flat press. Um, we did some pressing movements on that. Again, I, I'm trying to keep up as best I can, and he's just playing with the weight as it normally goes. From that point, we did some incline flies. Um, again, the thing about Steve is that Steve's always been a very shoulder dominant person. Just over time, I've since I've been a Steve Kuklo fan, I've kind of watched his training. Um, he's very shoulder dominant. He pushes a lot with his shoulders, and he uh, trying to get him to remove that um, shoulder movement from a lot of his. It's, it's tough. Again, we all have our our parts that just trying to get the skeletal muscle we want to work instead of the ones that do work. It's kind of tough. So trying to just play with some different things. 
So like Dan talked about our workout, um, trying for me, you know, Dan's pretty shoulder dominant as well, but he's kind of learned his his angle and his his grips and different things like that that helped him um, develop that pretty much shelf of the chest he has. I mean, you could put up you put your shaker bottle on, on his chest. That thing just sticks out about a foot. It looks like so. You know, one of the things I think one of the body parts. You know, I know that's a little bit lagging. That I'm trying to, to build up and to match the rest of my body. And, and with time and training, and you know, it, it's coming. But um, like I tell people, you know, you can't rush things, especially when it comes to the body. It takes time. Um, you know, you're not going to put 10 pounds in your chest in two weeks. It just doesn't happen. It's just you know, you got to be consistent with it and be um, persistent in your training, your diet, and and things will come. Um, then we went to uh, a flat press and just some just very basic partial movements. Um, again, trying to reduce his range of motion just to see if we can just get his chest to fire more in his shoulders because his shoulders are so stupid good that they just want to come in every movement. Oh boy. Then just did some basic uh, bent over kind of cable fly, slight bent over, but more standing kind of flies. And again, just kind of a burnout movement, nothing too crazy. Again, a lot of my uh, chest days are a little bit lower volume. I, I don't focus, but again, um, I do join training chest. Just one of those things, a, a natural body part that I, could, I actually do have, but not that I brag about that. But um, <laughs> it's good training with Steve. Again, like I said, um, it's fun training with top level pros top level humble good natured people that are professional level but again training with people of this level <laughs> it can be kind of a disheartening when they're not even trying and they're outdoing you by several hundreds of pounds so but it's always a joy uh, training with Steve uh, appreciate being around people like this especially down in Dallas he's a good one and um, he's got a great great future ahead of him just as long as he lets us small timers kind of grab on the coattails and hang on as long as we can but Appreciate it. Well, hopefully we get some more training days and he can beat the crap out of me and pick on me and, and then we can do some more videos and then he won't make fun of me. Hopefully I just it's kind of crush it my <laughs> ego and stuff. So um, today, you know, we played with my, my grip a little bit when on, on the bars. So, you know, it, it, going with like the thumb um, underneath the bar instead of wrapped around, just a couple of different things. See if I can get a little bit more contraction out of the chest. Um, different angles of, of my elbow, whether I'm going like 45 degrees compared to 90 degrees. Just again, trying to take my shoulders out of the movement. Um, so, you know, Dan just coming off a show, he's super strong. So, you know, again, he's trying to play it off like, like he, I wasn't even trying, but he, he's not. <laughs> um, but it was, um, you know, like I said, training, as I'm kind of getting my off season going and he's just kind of transitioning in off season off of contest, it's, it's uh, you know, it's a good chemistry of, of training styles to uh, to follow and, and hopefully you guys take something out of this workout that's effective and you know maybe you will uh, you know include in, in what you're doing to try to improve your chest so I'm with uh, Steve Kuklo with Dan Newmeyer with muscular development in the trenches off season 2013 winding down so again guys thanks for coming out and we'll see you guys soon like your dream over shot and it's like you start feeling good and it's like that's Kanko. Kanko power. Oh, I feel so yummy. <laughs> He's picking on me. Leave me alone, Steven. <laughs>